The only way of dealing with most of the British Islamic State fighters in Syria is to kill them, a British government minister has said. Rory Stewart, an international development minister, said converts to the terror group believed in an extremely hateful doctrine and fighters could expect to be killed given the threat they pose to British security. Hundreds of British citizens are known to have travelled to Syria to fight with Islamist groups during the course of the six-year conflict. Brett McGurk, a top U.S. envoy for the coalition fighting ISIS, has said his mission is to ensure every foreign ISIS fighter in Syria dies in Syria. Stewart was asked about the comments on BBC Radio 5 Live's PNR's politics. The minister said there were very difficult moral issues, adding these are people who have essentially moved away from any kind of allegiance towards the British government. They are absolutely dedicated, as members of the Islamic State, towards the creation of a caliphate. They believe in an extremely hateful doctrine which involves killing themselves, killing others and trying to use violence and brutality to create an 8th century or 7th century state. So I'm afraid we have to be serious about the fact these people are a serious danger to us, and unfortunately, the only way of dealing with them will be, in almost every case, to kill them. Stewart, a former diplomat, continued these are people who are executing people in the back of their heads, who have held women and children hostage, who are torturing and murdering, trying by violence to impose their will. Our response has to be, when somebody does that, I'm afraid, to deal with that. Stewart said British authorities had made it clear that people should not be volunteering with militia groups to fight ISIS. If you wish to serve your country and you wish to fight terrorism, then please apply to join the military or join the police or join our intelligence services, we'll train you, we'll work with you to do it in a legal and controlled fashion, he said. He confirmed that it remained British policy to remove the Syrian president, Bashar al-Assad. I don't think anyone should be in any doubt that the control that he has is brutal and ultimately fragile, Stewart said. The policy of the British government is that Bashar al-Assad needs to step aside and we need transition to a new government, because so long as that man is in power it is going to be impossible to have a long-term, stable, sustainable future for Syria.